What's up, family? How you guys doing today? I did here with Milky Tech, and today we are doing another upgrade video. Today we'll be upgrading my wife's all-in-one PC. It has a slow i3 processor and only eight gigs of RAM. My wife is a real estate agent, and she loves having all of the Chrome tabs open. With her comparing properties and finding uh, information for her clients, she needs to have plenty of RAM and plenty of processing power. Currently this i3 and eight gigs of RAM isn't cutting it. We've already put an SSD in here, but that's not really helping out much since Chrome and other app data is usually stored in the memory. And eight gigs is really isn't enough. And when you look at Task Manager, She's always at like seven, seven and a half gigs used. We need to upgrade her PC and hook her up. Also, if you guys love to have all the tabs open, leave a comment below. And if you can relate, also leave a comment below. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, please hit subscribe. And let's get this done. First things first, we'd want to get the PC, the all-in-one PC off of its mount. And Lenovo did a fantastic job, especially with this business class all-in-one. In the back, all there is a tab over here where you just press and you should be able to pull it out. I'm struggling a little bit and it comes right out. Lenovo made this all-in-one very easy to upgrade. Most other consumer level uh, devices would have a whole bunch of screws everywhere. The consumer version of this uh, all-in-one has screws everywhere. This only has two tabs, you pull it and the back comes off. Super easy to upgrade. The first thing we want to do is the easiest thing, is upgrading the RAM. There are two different types of memory modules. You have your regular uh, DIMM slots, and then you have the SODIMM memory. There are two different sizes. These are for desktop. These here are for laptops. Now this is a desktop, but since you have the, a space constraint, they opted to go for SODIMM memory, which are smaller. Now the brand that we're going for to put in this computer is some good old G-Skill memory. And you got the plus 5% sticker gotta put that on so in order to take out the memory you just pull these tabs out and this pops out comes right out and now let's go for the other ones back here pop this out comes right out pop. this is how you know it's in properly you put it in at an angle push it all the way in and push down and I like to push on it just for good measures. And you'll hear an audible click. Push it down, push it down, and it's in. Before we proceed, one thing I want to do is make sure that both memories are being read by the BIOS. Since this is so easy to open and close, I just lock this down. We'll plug this in. Let's plug this in for the keyboard. There we go. We had to spam F1 to get into BIOS. We go to system summary. And over here it says we have 16,384 megabytes of RAM at 1600 megahertz. So now we're just gonna turn off the computer and upgrade the CPU. The CPU lives underneath this heatsink and it's a pretty beefy heatsink for an all-in-one. And see how it's numbered one, two, three, and four? That's the order that you want to install it. But in order to take it off, you have to go backwards. You go four, three, two, one. I'm using this TacLife cordless screwdriver. It makes life so much easier. The link will be in the description below. Now I'm gonna squeeze this off and this comes right off. I am using 91% isopropyl alcohol. That's why I recommend to use. But if you have 70% or if you're in a pinch and you have hand sanitizer, just make sure to dry it really well. You don't want any water going anywhere here. But always use 91%. Swipe this down, clean this old CPU off. And now we want to clean off the heatsink of all of this thermal paste. The purpose of thermal paste is to allow maximum contact between the CPU and the heat sink. This way you have the maximum amount of heat transfer. To take the CPU out, you just push this lever down, pull it out, and it comes right out. It comes like that, and just pull the CPU out. And this is an old i3-4330. Out with the old, and in with the new 4690S. Now this is not a new CPU, it's a, it's a used one, but it is much more powerful than that i3. Now, in order to install any CPU, you must match 
this gold triangle with that triangle over here. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So you just open this up and you just drop it in. And do not bend the pins. Ah, there we go. Pull this back, push this down. You will feel some resistance, but that's okay. Just push it down, pull out, put down, push down, and that's it. Your CPU is in. Wipe down this CPU here, get it nice and clean. Let's wipe this down here as well, one last time. Let's have as clean of a surface as you can get. One thing I like to do is just hit with some compressed air. This way, if there's any lint or any solvent hasn't dried off yet, it will dry off. The next thing we want to apply some thermal compound. What I am using is some Arctic MX4. There are other brands like Noctua or Thermal Grizzly or the big brother Arctic Silver. But for this application, this is all you really need. The amount you want to put on here is about the size of a pea. Some people say a couple of grains of rice. There are more than one way to do it. I just, just put a whole big old glob and once you put the heat sink on, it will spread it nicely. About the size of a pea. Pull the plunger back a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna push this down like this. So now that we're gonna install our heatsink, I like to go by hand first. This way we don't strip any of the screws. Otherwise, this would be a very difficult project. So you start in the opposite order if you took it off. You wanna go in a cross fashion. You're not cracking any of the uh, components or anything. So you go one, two, three, and four. And you go until you can't go anymore. If you go anymore, you might snap the screw. Get the brush. This is a very fancy brush that I found in the art section of my wife's collection. Don't tell her. She might kill me when she sees it. I love you. Now that we've brushed off as much dust as we can, we're just gonna hit it with compressed air to remove all that loose dust. So let's see if this thing will even boot up. Let's connect the keyboard back in. Connect the power. It worked! Now let's see if it detected the CPU. i5-4690S. We've successfully upgraded. BIOS detected it. Now let's get into benchmarks. So the first benchmark we ran is Nova Bench. And we got a, a score the first time around of 892. And after the upgrade, we got a score of 1002. That is approximately a 12% increase in performance. The next benchmark we ran was PC Mark 10, and initially we got a score of 2,936, but after the upgrade, we got a score of 3,313. That is approximately another 13% increase in performance. And our last benchmark that we are running is, of course, 3D Mark Night Raid. Our pre-upgrade score was 31.52, and after the upgrade, we went all the way up to 38.52. That's a performance increase of over 22%. That is a big difference. Whew! That was a performance increase. I hope she is happy with it. Uh, if you guys, I uh, was wondering where you get some of the parts that I've used, I'll have everything linked in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this content, hit subscribe smash that like button if you guys have any questions suggestions or want to say hello drop it in the comment below and i'll see you guys next time peace